Hi, um, I'm Julio Macat. I'm the director of photography of Daddy's Home 2. And um, I'm happy to be here. Yeah, I've been doing comedies for a long time, and it's sort of a misconception, you know, that filming comedy is easier than filming a drama, and it's, I, I think that it's actually the opposite. Um, it, I, I've been fortunate to be around uh, really great comedians, and um, you, as a cinematographer for a comedy, you, you have to be loose and you have to be a little bit uh, less planned with, with all of your angles and everything because a lot of the comedy, a lot of the stuff that's really good, for example, with Will Ferrell, is improvised. And you never know exactly what's going to happen. He might take you from one part of the room to another part of the room. So as much as you plan, and we do plan a lot, and Sean Anders, the director of this movie, is, is really big on... on um, planning shots and storyboarding some of the sequences. And, uh, but you also have to leave yourself a little open for the great accidents that are gonna happen. Because in comedy, you know, uh, for example, in, uh, in Wedding Crashers, um, so much of it was improvised that if you locked yourself in, you know, the actors would, would just riff and go off in another direction. So along the way, you learn that the best, the best thing to do in comedy is to have a really good plan, but then be open for the surprises that are going to happen. Well, they've been showing a lot on the trailers, but they haven't shown a couple of really great scenes that happen towards the end of the movie. And I'm really not going to spoil it, but, but uh, all I can tell you is that the, the comedy in this film was elevated by the great performances of John Lithgow and Mel Gibson. They came, they descend on the family, just when you think that, that the guys Wahlberg and, and Will Ferrell have it together as co-parents. They descend on them at, during the holidays, and, and Mel Gibson is going to get enjoyment out of like messing with them to see and get them to fight each other. And um, it sort of happens that way, and the comedy ensues, and there's a lot of gags and a lot of fun things that happen. A lot of them are in the trailers. But then there's an interesting, like in every great comedy, there's, there's a moment where you kind of turn left. And then you have a heartfelt moment. And, and a great comedy without heart is not a great comedy. You know? And that's something that we strive towards reaching at a certain point where it, it kind of sneaks up on you. you know? And then the music swells a little bit. And then in, in this case, this, this fun things happen happens at the end of the movie because they're all because of a, a snowstorm they're all forced to deal with each other in this one place in this one cinema and they can't leave the lobby so they have to deal with each other and then this beautiful thing develops there at the end which I think is going to be really rewarding for the audience I, I think for the folks who liked Daddy's Home the first one I think that they won't be disappointed, if anything. I think this movie may be even funnier and more heartfelt than the first one. Between uh, Home Alone <laughs> <laughs> and Daddy's Home too, uh, you, you must know a lot of behind the scene and seen a lot of stuff happen, funny stuff, while the cameras are not rolling. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> Does anything come to mind that you can share with us? Uh, <laughs> I, w I wish you would have asked me before because I, uh, there's many... There's many situations, holy moly. So I did a movie called Ace Ventura Pet Detective, right? And uh, the uh, director, Tom Chadiak, it was his first movie, he wanted to introduce me to Jim. And uh, he, uh, so a couple of days before we started filming, I went over to his hotel room. And uh, we got up there, I knocked on the door, and Jim opened the door and he was buck naked. <laughs> And, you know, so he, he extends his hand. Hey, how are you? And what do you do? Like, like uh, the first thing you do, you look down and you check out the unit, right? And uh, it's just, I never forgot that, that he was kind of testing me to see whether or not I had a sense of humor. And I think I said something like, well, mine's bigger than that. And uh, we actually, uh, we had a good time from that moment on. That's, that's the first thing that comes to me. But... But they've been, you know, Will Ferrell is, is crazy funny. He's a beautiful man. He's fantastic. 
and uh, they he keeps surprising you with every every take. It's a different interpretation of it, a different reading, and the brain of that man, the stuff he comes up with. I mean, I have no idea where he gets some of the material, but it, it's it's super super hard to to be around the camera and not jiggle it from laughter when he's behind the camera because eventually stuff comes out of his mouth that you just go, holy moly, where did that come from? Well, I tell you, it's some, one of the things that's happened is I, I dislike actually the fact that you, anybody can pick up a camera and you know run around with a selfie stick and then be shooting music videos, be shooting this, be shooting that. And, and then, and then they, they end up shooting television shows because you know they've got a reel with interesting stuff in it. But there's, you know, um, we go back a hundred years in making film, and this is something we talk about at the American Society of Cinematographers, where a hundred years ago, we started creating moving pictures, and there was a respect that went along with the process, with the actors, and one of the things that I see happening is that because of the availabil availability of the camera to capture images, whether or not there's lighting, there's a lack of knowledge of where we came from and what we learned along the way and how to make a woman look beautiful with lighting, how to use filtration to make things look better, how to use the impact of the camera, you know, which, which you know, you see on gorgeous movies like Blade Runner and you know, where every every shot in it is just beautiful and well thought out. And, and I think uh, I would just fight for not forgetting the process and where we came from and the basics of photography before you, you call yourself a director of photography. So I love your cinematography work and we have a YouTube channel that we're trying to grow and uh, I'm gonna show you here one of my videos on my phone and I want you to give me your honest opinion. Who shot this, dude? This sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>